Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking coming at you today. I got a really special video as we get closer to the big contest uh, next weekend, the KCBS cook off I'm in. We are going to do some practice today, or at least I'm going to do some practice with some of the competition uh, ribs. These are Compart Duart uh, ribs from Compart Family Farms, from the best pork you can get. These are St. Louis style. This is what we'll be cooking. KCBS uh, style ribs, and these are the bad boys right here. So these aren't cheap. That's why we only got two racks here today, but I wanted to get a little practice in with them before the competition. Uh, didn't take much trimming with these bad boys. I'm gonna get them trimmed up, come back at y'all, and we are gonna have a blast with these ribs. Make some good, comp-worthy food. All right, y'all, I got my ribs trimmed up. Get them ready down here. Let me show you what we got. Now this rack, it was a little bit fatty on this end. This is probably not one I would use in the comp. It's still really good eating. Uh, one of them I had to kind of square it up a little bit and cut this piece off, but heck, these ribs are so good. I'm going to save that just for the eating. That would be so good. So uh, anyway, got underneath there. We're going to get a little bit of mustard on them first. And that's it's your binder, you know, your binder base or whatever you want to call it. But uh, we'll rub them down with this on both sides on the ribs. You don't have to put much. Again, this just acts as a binder. It doesn't add or take away any flavor. Should. You always want to get your mustard on there. Both sides really good. Get some of that piece there even. All right. And you have to trim some off the bat. I already did that. Remove the membrane. All right, now we're gonna get our rubs. Y'all hold on just a second. All right, first rub we're gonna start off with here, I'm gonna start off on the back, what the heck, is I got my Jones EQ. This is his love rub. It's a good base, it's got salt, pepper, garlic. I've got it in a different container, but that's what it is. So he put that love rub on there. Real good stuff, right? And then I wanna go with uh, the Jones EQ bone rub. It's right here. All right, this is one of his famous rib rubs here. All right, little bone rub back there on the back. All right, just kind of pat that in. All right, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of his booty rub on here just to have it. Jonesy Coo booty rub, Ooh, it smells wonderful right here, y'all. A little bit of that, it's a little spice in that. All right, and then you wanna finish it off with the pig pal. All right, Jonesy Coo pig pal. And that's really going to get your color in there. Everything else is color. A little bit of flavor. Get that all rubbed up. And I'm going to do the other side just the same. Flip them over. Oh, you want to make sure you get the edges. A little pig pal on the edges like that there. Oh, yeah. The edge here. All right. Jones' style. And you want to do it in this order, okay? You want to get your... Love rub on there. A bone rub. All right. Where'd that booty rub go? For that little bit of heat. All right. And then your pig pile. All right, and I'm gonna get the other rack rubbed down just like that, but I just wanna show y'all here on this one, and that is a beautiful rack of ribs. So we're out here at the Y640. I'm gonna go upper deck with these bad boys. Then we're gonna put them in. We're gonna kinda of push them. You wanna push them bones together, just like that. So they'll get nice and yummy there. Go ahead and put this other rack on. Put shin bones together too. Squanch them up. That's how you want to do. All right. Then I put my little tester over there. All right. So that's what we got. I got it running about 250, 260. Uh, cherry wood smoke. Let's let them roll. So we ran into a rainstorm. So it's been about an hour out here. 
So we're gonna spritz. I got my Crawford spritz right here is what we're gonna use. Hopefully y'all can see. It spritz is real, real good. Oh yeah. There's some burgers down there cooking. But uh, we need about a spritz. All right, y'all, it's been about another hour. We're gonna spritz again now. Just to keep them that it's moist like it need to be, y'all. Good. The bacon, the burgers, everything on there. Good deal. So it's time to wrap these ribs. They've been smoking for about three hours. Picked up some really nice color. So we're gonna put them down here and give them a wrap. Face down, like that. We'll hit them with some uh, little brown sugar. It's always good for in the wraps, you know what I'm saying? And some cat butter. And then hit it with some pit spritz, with some moisture. All right, right there, it's moisture flavor. That's what we're talking about. We're wrap them up good and tight. That's where they are All right, put them back on, let them go for about two hours, just wrap, just like that. All right, y'all, so these ribs have been wrapped for a couple hours now. We're about to unwrap them, put them back on them, kind of firm up, and show you what we're doing. Just unwrapped them. Look at all that drawback. Oh, yeah, for the bones. That's perfect. And we'll put them back up there on the, on the grill and let everything just kind of firm back up. We'll glaze them, stuff like that. But just want to let that just juice drip off right there. And we'll uh, lay them back up there. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful right there. So we'll let those go on for a few minutes while we come back with our glaze. So we're about to glaze now. I got a little bit of this Memphis Original Barbecue Sauce that I've already heated up in this pan. Oh man, this is good stuff. Just pour that right down in there. And uh, we're gonna glaze these ribs with that sauce, right? Yeah, it's gonna be the good stuff, right, yeah. Oh, you kind of want them. all there. Go ahead and just kind of put a glaze. And I don't brush a pat like that. That that keeps you from getting them brush strokes, you know what I'm saying? So, you gonna start glazing or mopping, whatever you wanna say. sauce down on there just to give these ribs that sweetness everything else they need Roll on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these ribs off the cooker. I'll check it out here. Oh yeah, look at that, aren't they beautiful? Let's see if I can zoom in just here a little bit. Gotta be very careful that we'll mess them up. So lay them right there on the cutting board. Woo! Absolutely gorgeous, y'all. Look at that rack of ribs. Oh, buddy John says, ribbit, ribbit, rib time. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Let's get them inside. Y'all, so there's the ribs right there. We're going to cut one off here and just kind of give it a taste. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Let's just taste that rib, y'all. Look at the color on it. 
Oh yeah. Let's see what we're working with here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect bite too. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. That's unbelievable. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Amazing. No, it is unbelievable. <laughs> How good those compart ribs are. Oh my gosh. And with that rub, that Jonesy Q brings it out there with that pit spritz from Crawford, everything. Super, super flavor, y'all. That is absolutely gorgeous. Y'all get getting any close. Look at that. I'm going to build me a barbecue box as I'm doing some practice here. Come back to y'all here in a few minutes. Oh, wow. All right, y'all, so there's my practice turn-in box right there, an eight-rib box. Six judges, y'all wish me luck. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link to where you can get these compart ribs and everything and that Memphis sauce. Thank y'all so much. Please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless, and y'all have a good one.